Hello and welcome. You're watching We On World Is One. My name is Heem Korsara and here's a look at all the top stories that we're tracking this morning. Top Israeli ministers huddle to discuss the possibility of a Rafah offensive as stalemate continues over the Gaza true steel. A man held hostage in Gaza since the 7th of October Hamas attack has been confirmed dead as per Israel. His wife was killed in the initial assault while two of their three children were abducted and then freed in November. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. Biden slams protests in U.S. college campuses, says there's a right to protest, but not the right to cause chaos. Turkey suspends all trade with Israel until it allows aid to enter Gaza unhindered during its offensive against Hamas in the territory. Death toll from heavy rain in Brazil rises to 29 while 60 people are missing. Southernmost state of Rio Grande declares a state of public calamity. Scandal, hush money payments, secret recordings and Donald Trump's alleged gag order violations take center stage during his 10th day in court. Trump lawyer suggests hush money payment was extortion. Former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson turned away from his local polling station when trying to cast his vote in Thursday's elections after forgetting to bring the required photo identity. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.